Welcome back to the CQC video training series. This is a spot topic video on GC100 serial ports. The GC100 is a multifunction type of unit. It supplies a number of types of I.O. such as uh, IR blasting and some of those IR zones can be configured to be sensors if you want and have some relays. And it also provides a couple of serial ports. Now the serial ports are sort of an odd animal because they're not really things that are being used to control other stuff. They're really just uh, serial ports that you would use to talk to devices that control other stuff. So we really split those two things out. We have a driver for the GC100 that provides you access to its uh, IR capabilities and relays and so forth. But then we separately deal with the serial ports. So you can configure CQC to make the serial ports of any given GC100s available and once you do, then you can use those when you install CQC device drivers, and those device drivers can use the serial ports to talk to devices. So let's look at how you configure the ports. And then remember, this is separate from the device driver itself. We go to configure, and, and we expand out ports. There's a slot here for GC100s. Let's open that, and we don't have any yet, so we can add one. And we can just give it a name, and let's say this one's in the theater. It initially just gives it some reasonable address that will work, but obviously this is not what we want. So we need to change this, and it, it happens to be at 120. And then you can enable or disable the ports. I will enable them both. Okay, so now if we save that change, and if we now go over to devices, and let's just, uh, we'll go through the motions of installing a serial device. We won't actually do it. But let's just uh, add driver and well, this uh, April Air is a serial device. So let's select that and it doesn't matter what we call it, thermo. And if we go now in the serial ports, we can go down here and we now see that there are GC100 slash theater slash COM1 and COM2 ports. And those are the ports for that particular GC100 and any others that you have configured will show up here. Now keep in mind that uh, we cannot actually modify the settings of these ports. This is, in our opinion, sort of a suboptimal design decision on their part, but the interface by which you set up the ports is really up there at the level where the device driver works. And these virtual serial ports are very low-level things, so they cannot actually talk to the GC100 driver because they exist below the, the level of drivers. So it's just one of those things. So what you have to do is um, use the GC100 web interface and you can configure these ports. Now, when you actually set the settings on a port, you can do that if the driver allows it. But uh, if it's for a GC100 port, the driver thinks it's setting them, but it's not and just nothing happens. Those uh, changes just get eaten. So you just need to make sure that you set these up correctly in the GC100 itself and then everything will work correctly. So that's it, just a very simple quick video there, but uh, that shows you how to use GC100 ports, which can be very useful. If you've got them around for other reasons, then no, no reason not to use those uh, serial ports if they're convenient.